Imagine waking up one day to find your local park or backyard transformed by plants and animals that seem alien to the landscape. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now across North America, thanks to invasive species from Asia. In today's video, five invasive species from Asia transforming North American habitats, we dive deep into the world of these foreign invaders, exploring how they arrived, the impacts they're having on local ecosystems, economies, and even our health and what can be done to mitigate these effects. Why should you care? Beyond the environmental impacts, understanding these invasive species can help us better appreciate the delicate balance of our local ecosystems and the importance of biosecurity measures. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a gardener, or just someone who enjoys a walk in the park, knowing about these species can enrich your understanding of the environment and empower you to contribute to its preservation. Have you ever noticed unusual plants taking over your favorite hiking trail? Or strange insects in your garden that you couldn't identify? Chances are you've already encountered these invaders without even realizing it. Stay with us as we uncover the stories of these invasive species, their effects on our ecosystems, and how knowledge like this can not only pique your curiosity, but also equip you with the insight to make a difference in your community. Invasive species, organisms that are introduced to a new environment where they don't naturally occur have become one of the most significant threats to biodiversity worldwide. These species can cause harm when they establish themselves in these new locales, often because they lack natural predators in their new habitats, allowing their populations to grow unchecked. The introduction of such species to North American ecosystems, particularly from Asia, has led to significant environmental, economic and health impacts. These invaders can outcompete native species for resources such as food and habitat, often leading to the decline or extinction of native plants and animals. Their presence can alter the natural balance of ecosystems, affect water quality, and even change the course of rivers. Economically, invasive species can devastate agriculture, forestry, and fisheries, leading to billions of dollars in losses annually. Moreover, some of these species can carry diseases that affect humans and wildlife. The story of invasive species is not just one of ecological imbalance, but also of human impact on the planet. Many of these species were introduced intentionally for agriculture, landscaping, or as pets, while others arrived accidentally through global trade. As we delve into the specifics of five invasive species from Asia transforming North American habitats, it's crucial to understand the broader implications of our actions and how we can work towards solutions to mitigate the impacts of these ecological intruders. Asian Carp One of the most notorious invaders of North American waterways is the Asian Carp, a term that collectively refers to several related fish species originally from Asia, including bighead, silver, grass and black carp. These fish were introduced to the United States in the 1970s for aquaculture and sewage treatment purposes. However, floods allowed them to escape into the Mississippi River Basin, from where they have spread to many parts of the US, threatening the Great Lakes ecosystem. Asian carp are voracious eaters, consuming up to 20% of their body weight daily in plankton, which is the foundation of the aquatic food web. Their insatiable appetite depletes food resources for native fish and aquatic species, leading to a significant decline in native biodiversity. Moreover, the silver carp's notorious habit of leaping out of the water when startled by boat engines poses a physical threat to recreational boaters, with numerous injuries reported each year. The economic impact is profound, especially on the fishing and recreational industries. Efforts to control their spread include physical barriers, electric fences, and targeted fishing. However, these measures have had limited success, and the threat of these fish entering and destabilizing the Great Lakes ecosystem remains a significant concern. Public awareness and regulatory measures aiming at preventing their spread are critical components of the ongoing battle against Asian carp in North American waters. Emerald ash borer, another invasive species from Asia wreaking havoc in North America, is the emerald ash borer, EAB, a small metallic green beetle that was first detected in Michigan in 2002. Native to Northeast Asia, it is believed to have arrived in North America in the 1990s via wood packing materials. Since its discovery, EAB has killed millions of ash trees across the United States and Canada, profoundly affecting urban and forest landscapes. The larvae of the EAB bore into the ash tree's bark and feed on the inner bark and phloem, disrupting the tree's ability to transport water and nutrients, which eventually kills the tree. 
This has not only led to significant ecological impacts, such as the loss of habitat for species that depend on ash trees, but also considerable economic costs related to tree removal, replacement, and reduced property values. Efforts to combat the EAB include quarantines to prevent the movement of infested wood, the use of insecticides, and biological control strategies involving the introduction of natural predators from its native range. However, these methods are costly and require ongoing commitment to be effective. The spread of EAB also highlights the need for greater biosecurity measures to prevent the introduction of other invasive species that could have similarly devastating effects on North American ecosystems. The invasion of Asian carp and the emerald ash borer into North America exemplifies the complex challenges invasive species pose to ecosystems, economies and communities. These species stories underscore the interconnectedness of global ecosystems and the profound impact human activities have on environmental health and biodiversity. Combating these and other invasive species requires a coordinated effort involving public awareness, scientific research and policy measures at local, national and international levels. Asian Longhorned Beetle The Asian Longhorned Beetle, ALHB, native to China and the Korean Peninsula, represents a significant threat to North America's hardwood forests. First detected in New York City in 1996, presumably arriving in wooden packing material, ALHB has sparked major eradication efforts in the United States and Canada. This beetle targets a wide range of hardwood trees with a particular appetite for maples, willows, elms and birches. ALHB larvae burrow deep within the trees where they feed on the heartwood, creating extensive tunnel networks that weaken and eventually kill the host. The visual markers of an ALHB infestation include perfectly round exit holes in the bark, sawdust-like frass around the tree base, and dead or dying branches. The ecological ramifications are severe, as affected areas see a decline in biodiversity, altered habitats and disrupted ecosystems. Economically, the ALHB threatens the lumber, maple syrup, nursery and tourism industries with the potential costs of an uncontrolled spread running into billions of dollars. Eradication efforts focus on identifying and removing infested trees, imposing quarantines to prevent the beetle's spread and public education campaigns to raise awareness. Biological control methods, including the introduction of natural predators or pathogens, are also being explored. The fight against ALHB underscores the importance of international cooperation in monitoring and controlling pest populations to protect forest health and biodiversity. Spotted Lanternfly First identified in Pennsylvania in 2014, the Spotted Lanternfly, SLF, originating from China, has emerged as a formidable threat to the agricultural and forestry sectors in North America. This strikingly patterned insect feeds on a wide variety of plants, including grapes, apples, stone fruits and pines, with a particular fondness for the invasive tree of heaven, Ailanthus altissima. SLF's feeding damages plants, stunts their growth and can lead to their death. Additionally, the sugary excrement, honeydew, produced by SLF, encourages the growth of sooty mold, which further harms the plant and reduces its agricultural value. The economic impact of SLF is profound, particularly on the viticulture, grape growing and orchard industries, threatening billions in economic damage and the livelihoods of many. The aesthetic and ecological damage to forests and natural areas is also of great concern as SLF can alter the ecological balance and reduce biodiversity. Management strategies include the use of insecticides, mechanical removal of egg masses and the promotion of natural predators. Public awareness and education campaigns are critical to preventing the spread of SLF, encouraging residents to report sightings and adhere to quarantine regulations. Research into more sustainable control methods, such as biological control agents and behavioural deterrents, is ongoing. The challenges presented by the Asian longhorned beetle and the spotted lanternfly highlight the intricate and often unforeseen consequences of species introductions across global ecosystems. These case studies not only reflect the direct impact on native species and industries, but also underline the broader implications for ecological balance, economic stability, and biodiversity conservation. Addressing the threat posed by invasive species demands a multifaceted approach, combining scientific research, public engagement, policy development, and international collaboration to safeguard our natural and agricultural resources. Kudzu. Kudzu, often referred to as the vine that ate the south, is a fast-growing, climbing and coiling vine native to Asia. 
Introduced to the United States in the late 19th century for ornamental purposes and soil erosion control, kudzu has become an emblematic invasive species, particularly across the southeastern US. This plant's rapid growth rate, up to a foot per day during peak growing seasons, allows it to quickly overtake and smother native plants, trees, and entire ecosystems, leading to significant ecological disruptions. Kudzu's leaves can cover the canopy of trees, depriving them of sunlight and ultimately killing them. This not only affects the biodiversity of affected areas, but also alters habitats and the balance of ecosystems. Additionally, Kudzu's extensive root system makes it difficult to eradicate and can damage foundations, roads, and other structures. Its pervasive nature has transformed landscapes across affected regions, turning forests and fields into monocultures of kudzu. The economic impacts are multifaceted, including lost agricultural productivity, increased management costs for landowners and municipalities, and damage to infrastructure. While kudzu has been used in some areas for biocontrol of soil erosion and even explored for its potential in biofuel production, the overall consensus is that the cons far outweigh the pros. Management strategies for kudzu include mechanical removal, grazing by livestock, herbicidal treatments, and the promotion of natural predators and diseases that specifically target kudzu. However, these methods require persistent efforts over several years to be effective, highlighting the challenge of managing invasive species once they have become established. Kudzu's story is a stark reminder of the unintended consequences that can result from the introduction of non-native species into new environments. It underscores the need for careful consideration and management of species translocations to prevent similar invasions in the future. As with other invasive species, the fight against kudzu involves a combination of public awareness, scientific research and community engagement to protect native biodiversity and maintain ecological balance. Thank you for watching our deep dive into five invasive species from Asia, transforming North American habitats. If you found this information enlightening and crucial for raising awareness about ecological balance, please share it with others. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful content that helps protect our planet. Don't miss out on our next video. Click on the screen now to continue learning and join our community of conservation advocates.